I'm going to show you how with a piece of string and a measuring device, you can get a pretty dang on close uh, estimate of how big your fish is. So let's pull that fish out and throw it on the board and I'll show you how to get a measurement from a length girth girth formula. All right, so we're going to take this fish, we're going to put her on the hog trough. Always wet your hog trough first, like we did. Lay her down, get her to close her mouth. All right, so, ah, come on, close your mouth, girl. There we go. She's got her mouth closed, and she is 23 and a quarter inches, so 23.25. And then what we're going to do, we'll make this as quick as we can. Take your line, come to the fattest part of the fish, which is about right there, <clears throat> and you want to go around, and you want to get a girth. Make sure you don't touch the dorsal fin because it'll make it longer. I get it right up against the top of the dorsal fin and then go right in below the peck fins. That's generally the fattest part on the fish. Lay that down. You can mark it with a Sharpie or pinch that spot and pull it off. Now get her back in the water and I'll show you exactly how this works. So I've got this fish marked. I'm gonna trade hands right here. And we're gonna go to the zero mark on the board and we're gonna come down and that is exactly 17 and a half. All right. So here's how you figure out the girth of a fish without a scale. A lot of people disagree with it, but I've done hundreds of fish and then weighed them on a certified scale and it's always plus or minus a couple ounces. And depending on the lake and Toledo Bend is right there in the median, so in the middle. So just, I'm just gonna go to the calculator on my phone. So here's how it works, Matt. So 23.25. So that's the length times the girth, which is 17.50 times the girth again, 17.50 equals, and then you divide that by 800. So that bass is 8.900390.62 pounds. Sweet. So she's 8.9 pounds. Oh, I like I said, I thought she was pretty close to nine. Yeah. She's 8.9, but here's the thing. That's not eight, that's not nine tenths, that's 8.9. So she's basically like an ounce off of Actually, she's less than an ounce from being nine pounds. So one shad sandwich, one little crawfish, and she would have been nine pounds. So that's how big his fish is right there. Such a personal no best for sure, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, congratulations, Thank brother. <laughs> Here's how it works. You take the length of the fish and then the girth to the thickest point. You mu multiply the length, in which in this case was 23 and a quarter, times the girth. Then you multiply that times the girth again. That number, you divide by 800. So it's length times girth times girth divided by 800. What I'll do is in the description box below, I'll also link up a couple of girth calculators because this is not only accurate for largemouth bass, but it's accurate for a lot of species, but that 800 number changes. So anyway, for largemouth bass in the core of the Southeast of the United States, that 800 is the number. So again, it's length times girth times girth divided by 800, and that's gonna give you a really accurate measurement. So if you're like me and you don't wanna hang the fish and you don't wanna take them home and kill them, that's an easy guesstimate to tell you how much that fish weighs. And like Matt's talking about mounting this fish and that's perfectly fine, but one thing you could do is take a picture of them, get a good set of markings, get your length and your girth, and you can send that to a taxidermist and get a high quality uh, fiberglass replica made. And that not only is that replica gonna let you put the fish back, but it's also gonna look good for a lot longer. I've got fiberglass replicas that look really good. And back early on in my career, I mounted a couple of fish and now they're like scales are turning and they look you know, deformed, but those fiberglass mounts are gonna look the same when you pass them down to your grandkids as they do the day you bought them. So, hey guys, thanks for watching Kayak Bass and TV. Do me a favor, comment below and tell me what you think about the length, girth, girth formula. Give this video a big thumbs up and give Matt a big thumbs up on his personal best. And leave us a comment below about anything else you want us to talk about on the channel. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Kayak Bass and TV and we'll see you next time.